Peace fam, so WAC100 is seemingly back at it again, not letting up on his tirades against Master P. This time someone explaining why he got into it and actually mentioning P's longtime friend Big Buzz in the conversation. So let's check this one out, it's definitely interesting and we're going to chime back in with some conversation. Oh, is it safe to say that, that the No Limit $500 million empire is no more? Master P, bro. I know it, Master P a lead in city, bro. I guarantee you ain't, that ain't gonna come out of his mouth. Master nah, P man, in LA, bro, that. we right there. Boz saying that. It's Boz saying that. I, Boz ain't Master P's partner then, bro. Cause anybody that know P, he really acquired the bro. Anthony Boswell been down with P for like 20, 30 years. Bro, is he still down with him though? Cause P don't put a lot of them niggas and they be mad at him. And that's exactly oh. what I said. He'll say some shit like that to try to pop <laughs> shit up because he know P in his backyard. So some shit going on, bro. Okay, the question is, does he still fuck with him? Anybody that fuck with P know not to be running around tying his name to that type of shit if he ain't saying it. Any nigga know that. What you mean the podcast? A podcast gonna talk to anybody want to talk, bro. I talk, but what, what kind of shit is that? Top of shit you supposed to be doing. Protect your mother. He gay. He live right here, bro. Everybody know I, I know where he at. He ain't running around like that. No, no, nigga through half a million a year for he's doing it. When you got him around you like that. Easy. They was mad at me about the Master P shit, but guess what? You never heard Master P one time say whack line. I never said he was broke. I said, stop talking about what Nick Cannon should be doing. He worth seven, eight hundred million. When you don't, you lease in your house, you don't own your house. And you don't own your masters. You lost your masters as a businessman, and you over there rent. Stop talking about what that man's supposed to be doing as a businessman. Whatever the f he's driving. Well, I know where he got the cars from. The old white bro. Hey, we all know that. Like she's 90 years old. <laughs> See what I told him? Turn that camera on and walk around your house. Like, we know. Like, I know. Like, we know what's happening. Come on, bro. You just moved two houses up because the real owner wanted to move in. This real, and then you waited till a house on the block came over to lease that one. Stop capping, right? Like, come on, buddy. this real shit. You do not own your masters, period. Gone. You rent. So now you're going to tell it worth six, seven hundred motherfucking million dollars who own all kinds of shit. How he's supposed to be doing business? No, I, I didn't appreciate that. I wouldn't have said nothing to him if he wouldn't have said nothing to my guy. You know, Nick ain't going to say nothing. That ain't his, that ain't, that ain't his character. I'm going to say something. So is it safe to say that, that the No Limit $500 million empire is no more? So as you can hear, WAC100 letting it be known that he opened his voice because he feels Master P was slighting Nick Cannon. Now, take that how you want. We know P and Nick Cannon have sported or have at least publicly sported like a positive relationship. So it's kind of strange WAC saying he's choosing to speak on it because he knows Nick won't. In terms of him mentioning Big Buzz, that's definitely a surprise because Buzz is a name who's not usually mentioned by people, especially when they're coming at Master P for like rap or business endeavors and stuff. And for him to insinuate that maybe Master P and Buzz aren't friends or aren't, you know, as close as they used to be, that can actually be debunked because you can see Buzz on the non YouTube tour. You can check out some recent interviews. And, um, you know, anybody who really knows the No Limit, they know Buzz and P, they always gonna be down, man, and still rapping. So that can go ahead and be debunked. So yeah, WAC 100, we don't know where this clip has surfaced from, how new it is. We know sometimes people be through these clips. It was sent to us to check out. So let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you guys think WAC 100 is going off too much? We you should. We recently had Jay Prince address him amongst others. So it's gonna be interesting how this situation pans out. So this one goes out to all our peeps out there. Back that online is your hookup. Holla if you hear me.